Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this is your KWHS News. College visits for October are winding down, but we also have the November lineup. So jot down these dates and remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the scoop. Morningside College in Iowa found a last-minute spot in their schedule to visit us and will be here on Tuesday, October 23rd during advisory. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations will be here for a college fair on Wednesday, October 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. The Counseling Center has more details and you do need to register online. On Thursday, October 25th, the reps from the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley will be here during advisory. And closing out the month on October 30th, the reps from Pikes Peak Community College have scheduled their visit with us. Seniors, listen up. If you submit your college applications to Colorado schools on October 30th, they will waive your application fees because it's the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Submit your complete high-quality admissions application on October 30th. Keep in mind that each institution will waive fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution's specific instructions as well as the Colorado Free Application Day FAQs. See Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center for more information. The University of Wyoming Cowboys kick off our November college visits on November 6th. Luther College will be here on November 7th and the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here on November 13th, followed closely by the UCCS reps on November 15th. Plan to spend some time after Thanksgiving with the Adam State Grizzlies who are scheduled to visit us on November 29th. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Juniors and seniors, the ACT test at WHS is this coming Saturday, but if you did not get yourself registered for this date and you need to take this test, Go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. And now we're checking in with Ethan Simon for our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Monday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads are matching up against the Harrison Panthers tomorrow night at home starting at 6 p.m. Come cheer on the ladies as they bump, set, and spike their way to the end of the season. Our cross-country team is preparing for their state meet this Friday. Best of luck to them as they run away with some hardware. In football news, our Glads conjured some magic against the Liberty Lancers on Friday and added a W to their season record. Whoosh! Our team is on the road this coming Friday at Pueblo West for a game at 7 p.m. Come out and support your Gladiator football team. Our mighty Gladiator marching band keeps making great music at competition. They earned some great results at the Fountain Fort Carson Friendship Cup over the weekend. Way to go, Glads! And finally, in forensics news, the team is taking its talents to Pueblo West this Thursday for the Halloween Congress meet. Best of luck to them. That's it for your Monday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Go out and support your teams this week. Now back to Cheyenne and Isaac for more news. Thanks, Ethan. We appreciate the coverage. Students, Miss Milton is hosting a trip to England, Ireland, and Scotland in June of 2020. Stop by room 103 to get those details and information. Hey, Glads, remember those pink federal aid forms that were due on October 11th? If you haven't turned them in, what are you waiting for? Return a signed copy to your first hour teacher or the attendance office. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. Boy. What's for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to have pork rolls with mashed potatoes and gravy. And then on Tuesday, mini corn dogs. Hope to see you then. Have a great, great day. Bye. Today. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, Order yours today in the business office or you can go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55 until the end of November.
My name is Mr. Hoffman. Uh, I have the privilege of being the principal here at Whitefield High School. One of the things that was interesting when we got the bond money, there was some money that was designated to go specifically for the auditorium, and it had to go towards that. Yeah, very excited about the auditorium. If you haven't had a chance to see it yet, you know, everything from top to bottom has been changed. So they started the auditorium uh, right after the last day of school. So school ended last year, May 24th, and they started tearing the auditorium apart on May 25th. It's nearly done right now, so we're very excited. It took all summer for them to make the change. I've got, a, we've got brand new paint in there, we got brand new seats, brand new lights, brand new sound. The stage was completely redone, we got new curtains, everything was redone. It was about $750,000 that was spent on our auditorium to renovate that, which is great. That, that auditorium is 60 years old, and as many of you guys know, the seats were kind of canted down, so some of the seats that you would sit in, you'd kind of slide off onto the floor, so it's wonderful. It's a great space, I couldn't be more happy with it. What are your thoughts on the new auditorium? The new auditorium looks great. They made a lot of upgrades. It looks like the seats are a lot more stable and there's some new carpet, new paint. It's really great. Then every building in the district also got $31,250 that we were allowed to spend however we wanted to spend. What we did at Whitefield High School is we put a committee together of staff members, students, and parents, and I got input from people. We ended up doing a lot with it. We ended up getting three more bottle filling stations, so now we have six of them throughout the building. New cafeteria tables, sound system, and data projector in there. So we got new picnic table seating for handicap accessible picnic tables. We got the new bleachers. We got new ping pong tables for ninth grade PE and for individual sports. I was most excited about the auditorium. I just, it, it's such a public space. We have all kinds of different district functions that come through there. It will just give people a sense of pride to know that we have facilities and great spaces. I'm really excited for our students to be able to take advantage of it and for our teachers to be able to use the spaces as well. When I first came into the auditorium, I thought it looked really, really nice and I'm very excited to host our forensics tournaments here so we can show off our new auditorium to schools all over the Southern Colorado area. Thank you, voters. Thank you, board members. Thank you, community. Hi there, I just wanted to take a moment to thank the voters, the community, and Whitefield School District 3 board members for my great new tables in the cafeteria, and my speakers, and my sound system, and all the good things that that bond money provided for us here at Whitefield High School. Thanks, again. That's it for our Monday edition, GLADS. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.